โอเคงั้นเดี๋ยวพี่หกโมงแล้วเดี๋ยวพี่จะเริ่มเลยดีกว่าเนาะโอเคครับอ่าสวัสดีครับอันนี้พี่เจนนะครับตัวแทนจาก IEC abroad นะคะนะครับก็คือเป็นเอเจนต์เรียนต่อต่างประเทศนั่นแหละครับวันนี้เราก็คือจะมีจอดเซสชันนะครับก็คือเป็นออนไลน์เว็บบินาของยูนิเวอร์เอ่อลาฟลายูนิเวอร์ซิตี้นะครับเป็นมหาวิทยาลัยในอังกฤษเนาะอ่าน้องน้องน้องน้องหลายคนที่เข้ามาจอยก็คือจะเป็นน้องๆที่สนใจไปเรียนต่อกันนะครับเดี๋ยวให้อ่าตัวแทนมหาวิทยาลัยมากับตัวแทนมหาวิทยาลัยนะครับชื่อรอบนะครับรอบให้รอบ <laughs> Could you please unmute? Hi. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we we are starting soon. Yeah. Okay. Could you please introduce introduce yourself? Yes, absolutely. Uh, hello, everybody, and uh, and good evening, uh, Swadika. I hope you're all okay and you're keeping well in the the COVID conditions that we have. I know Thailand perhaps is not uh, experiencing it as as tough as we've had it in Europe. But I hope you're all well, and and thank you again for joining the chat today. Um, so I think what we're we'll, we're going to do today, we're going to cover a few things. Um, some of you may have not heard about Loughborough University before, so we'll introduce our location, about where we are, um, about the courses, and why you perhaps would want to consider studying with us. Um, and I'll do this via a presentation. And then I'm going to give you a little bit of an update about um, the COVID-19 situation. Oh. So, what the campus is looking like, uh, what plans we've put in place to help you if you're thinking of studying with us this year, and then there'll be time for questions after the presentation. Okay. All right. So, whenever we're ready, um, if I can just get the instructions to to share the screen, um, we can uh, we can start the presentation. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Can you see the the green bottom? Sure. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I can share the screen now. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, um, just to uh, just to reiterate the initial comments. Um, my name's Rob. I am the regional manager for Southeast Asia. So I visit Thailand and particularly Bangkok about three or four times throughout the year. Unfortunately, we can't travel now, which is a shame for us because we love visiting your country. But as soon as it is safe for us to do so, we will make sure we're there on that first flight out to to Bangkok. So we have been visiting Thailand for a number of years, and our uh, Thai community has now increased to around about 60 students um, across different levels. Um, we actually have two campuses: one in Loughborough, which is a town. Between the cities of Leicester and Nottingham, so it's a very safe, very affordable uh, campus. And we have a campus in London because we know a, a number of you, as a, in Thailand, would quite like to study in a big city like Bangkok or or other cities where you're based. So having the option to study in London, we know, is attractive. And in East London, we have a campus there as well. So I'll talk to you in a bit of detail about that. So in terms of our location, Loughborough is in the middle of England, so it is a campus-based university. It is one of the largest campuses in the UK, so it's very fun, very good for sports and other activities, very good for making friends. And the London campus has also options for postgraduate studies um, in a select number of areas, and that is on the Olympic Park in London, which is. Um, a very uh, well located part, very easy to travel around central London, and it's actually quite affordable for London. Um, East London is a little bit more affordable than than central London, certainly. So, how do we pronounce Loughborough? Now, this is a very confusing spelling, uh, and how do you spell it? How do you pronounce it? So, um, some of you may have a guess about how to pronounce it um, to make it easier and to save time. Um, Loughborough. Is the easiest way of pronouncing it. Um, we have had many different pronunciations, such as Luga Baruga and Lau Barau um, and Loughborough. But I think the easiest way of pronouncing it is Loughborough. So Loughborough. That's perhaps the easiest uh, way of pronouncing the, the university. So at least you've learned something today. The campus where most of our Thai students would study in the Loughborough campus. Um, Would be one of the largest in the UK. So everything you can see in that picture is owned by the university. So we have study spaces, we have lectures and seminars, we have sports facilities, uh, we have accommodation, we have places of worship, 
and we have a medical center all on our campus. So that makes it very easy for you to travel around um, and not need any particularly transport costs. Um, and it's, again, everything that you need is in one place. The town of Loughborough um, for shopping um, and for uh, cinema and other activities is in the, uh, the heart of Loughborough, which is about 10 minutes walk from the campus. Um, we have a very uh, popular Thai restaurant as well called Thai Grand, which a number of our Thai students work part time. And the, the family originates from Thailand. They're not British Thai. So the food is even more authentic and even more spicy. So um, I'm sure you'll like uh, that food if you do, do decide to come and study with us. The, uh, we'll come on to talk about the London campus a little bit later on. Uh, in terms of our ranking, um, we are in the top um, six in three UK ranking league tables. So we're number four in the Guardian. We're number five in the Times and we're number six in the Complete University Guide. So this is overall across all of our subject areas uh, that combines us to have a top 10 ranking, which we're very, very pleased about. Um, for some subjects, um, so for 2020, uh, again, we've been voted the best university in the world for sports. So even if you're not interested in studying sports, it means we have a number of sporting facilities for you to get involved in if you wanted to in your spare time. So a number of our Thai students, they play football, they play badminton, they go and get involved in swimming. We have Thai student societies. We have different um, faith and religious societies. So there are many things for you to get involved in in your spare time as a student there as well. We've recently won the University of the Year Award, which we think is a nice uh, momentum of our success. But me personally, I like this one, which is talking about the best student experience. Because I think whilst you're coming to study in the UK, it's really important to make the most of your time there. So because students feel safe and because they have lots of opportunities to play sports and other activities uh, and also making friends and traveling and volunteering, there are many opportunities for your student experience. And our students for over the past 10 years have voted as number one or number two for student experience. So that's something we're really, really pleased about over the past 10 years. In terms of our subject area, I'm not sure um, of your preference at this stage, but we have undergraduate courses, we have postgraduate courses, and we have PhD courses as well. The, I won't talk about every single subject group, but um, we have popular courses in art and design, in business and economics, in engineering, in sports related courses. Uh, and in media and communication. And for those five topics, I'll just briefly discuss um, what options we have for those areas. And then I'll introduce our London campus as well. But as you can see, of those 21 uh, disciplines, the vast majority are in the top 10. Okay, so again, not as the overall ranking is very good, the subject ranking is also very good. So just briefly, um, I know most of you, when you're doing a business program, look to do a master's. Uh, we have undergraduate programs in business and economics as well, usually for three years. But our business programs have the option of a, of a four year, particularly for internships. In fact, it's compulsory for business students at undergraduate level to take an internship or a study abroad program. So that's quite a, a new thing we're offering. So the master's programs that are popular in Thailand for, for management are marketing, management, international business um, and finance programs. We have some economics programs as well. And new for this year, we have logistics and supply chain. Uh, business analytics is also a popular program. And for those of you who have substantial work experience, uh, over the past few years, we've had three or four Thai students each year join our MBA program. Now, our MBA is a triple accredited MBA and it has a work experience option as well. So that's for students who have got three years of professional work experience or more. Another subject area is engineering. Um, so we have most of the major undergraduate and postgraduate programs in engineering. Our strengths lie in automotive and mechanical engineering, but we also have good, um, a good amount of interest from Thailand in our construction management programs as well. The other area that we're also famous for away from um, business and economics and engineering is our media programs. So media are number one in the UK and top 50 in the world by the QS ranking. So we do have some really good courses, both at Loughborough and in London, 
related to media. Art and design courses are, again, they're in the top 30 in the world. So we've got some really good courses, particularly in the likes of textiles and graphic design and user experience, which is a very popular area. Um, those programs usually need a portfolio, um, but they can, we can welcome students from, from various backgrounds, as long as they've got good artistic uh, ability for those programs. And sports. Um, I think it's one of the things that we're really famous for. So I'd like to mention a little bit about sports, particularly sport management. That's a popular area. Um, and for those of you who, who want to, who are from perhaps a science or a medical background, you can look to go for some of our programs in, in, in uh, sports, sports science, if you are interested in that area. We also offer psychology. Um, that is a top 10, uh, sorry, top 100 ranked uh, program in the world. For those of you who are perhaps um, completing your high school now or thinking about going on to university but don't have international qualifications, we can uh, usually offer you a foundation program uh, if you require it. Uh, this is again before undergraduates, so not for master's program students. And they would require a 3.0 GPA from your more six uh, qualifications plus the English language. So that is our own foundation that leads on to a number of different routes. You would choose an engineering or a business or a sports route depending on your, your preference um, subject area. London um, has postgraduate programs and this campus opened about four. Uh, in fact, we've had five intakes so far. So uh, we are quite well established in London and we offer programs in design innovation, in digital technologies, including our most popular program, not only for Thai students, but across the world is digital marketing. So that is a master's program. So we offer marketing at the Loughborough campus. We offer digital marketing and sport marketing at our London campus. Entrepreneurship and innovation is a very popular course. It has options there, including family businesses for, for those of you who are thinking of continuing the family business in the future. And we have um, a Plexal um, business startup company just next door to us in London, where you can actually start your own company, which is a very exciting option. Within our sport business context, we have a partnership with Chelsea Football Club. And they offer things like sports analytics, sport business, sport leadership, and sport marketing, as we've discussed. For media graduates, you can work on things like media and creative industries. Uh, we also work with a television company called BT Sport, who have live Premier League matches um, and live um, sports uh, that are broadcasted. And the broadcasting studio is next door to us in London. So it's a very good location for you to be uh, studying with us as well. Then we have a diplomacy academy and we have a, an institute for international management for those of you who want to get that international exposure. Um, so all of these programs in London have a collaborative project, which means that throughout the degree you're working with industry to, uh, to really focus on um, your employability and, and getting work in the UK. So particularly um, the London programs are, are geared towards um, industry based um, activities as well. So location, it's in East London. It's on the Olympic Park. Uh, we have accommodation within 10 minutes walk of our campus itself. Um, the largest shopping centre in the UK is uh, just next door to us. So a number of our Thai students turn up with lots of shopping bags um, and uh, they eat in a lot of the restaurants uh, and, and um, you, you can benefit from part-time jobs and things like that. So that shopping centre is called the Stratford um, shopping centre which is actually called the Westfield complex so the Westfield shopping centre and it's again it's the largest shopping centre in Europe so it's a fantastic opportunity if you if you like me um, you like shopping uh, it's a really nice place to be and again being in East London makes it a little bit more affordable for students as well so coming on to the uh, employability and graduate route uh, options um, we have got a very good um, reputation for having good uh, links to industry. So some of the companies are mentioned there, but we are first in the UK by the QS uh, graduate employability rankings for our connections to industry. Uh, we are top six for graduate prospects by the Sunday Times. And we have uh, lots of activities that go on throughout the year in terms of supporting students. So historically, we have held the largest careers fair to date every single year. 
Um, we have to be honest, this year may not be um, as, um, as, as large given the COVID situation and employers with social distancing, but we are planning a, a, a full suite of online um, activities and face-to-face -face activities during your first few weeks as a student, either as an undergraduate or a postgraduate, to benefit from our career support. Um, and as you may know, if you graduate from the university or any UK university next year, you will benefit from a two-year post-study work period where you can stay and work in the UK and look for jobs there. And our careers team provides support up to three years after you graduate as well. We don't actually have internships for our master's programmes with the exception of the MBA, but you can um, look for internships within the summer and a lot of our dissertations are uh, industry based as well in terms of that research assessment. But all of our undergraduate programmes will um, have the option of a one year paid placement year uh, in industry. I'm going to touch a little bit on sports and then I'm going to come on to our entry requirements and then obviously I'll open up for, for questions. Um, it, you don't have to be sporty to come and study with us. A number of our Thai students, they don't get involved in sports themselves. But if you like playing sports or if you want to try something new, we have 55 sporting clubs and over 100 different societies. If you like playing competitive sports, our university has won the British uh, sports competition against all other universities for the past 40 years. And uh, we also have um, many different societies that aren't related to sports as well. So that could be things like Shakespeare Society, a hot air balloon society, um, a computer science society, um, all sorts of different things here, canoeing, kite surfing, um, and again, things like the Thai Student Society is very popular. So there is something for everybody alongside your degree. Uh, and when you join the university, our Thai students usually get in touch to help you settle in either at the Loughborough or the London campus. So you'll have usually um, a really good community of students to, to welcome you uh, when you arrive. Just going to touch on a little bit about our entry requirements for those of you who are thinking of applying. And obviously, we can uh, give you more detail um, offline or, or in the questions section. For those of you looking at an undergraduate program, um, usually it will depend on uh, what qualifications you've taken as to what entry we would give you. Commonly, if you've taken the high school in Thailand, you would generally would need to come onto a foundation program. If you um, have taken A levels or the IB or perhaps a, a um, Australian or American qualification, you are usually, uh, depending on your grades, permitted onto our direct entry for our undergraduate programs. You may have subject specific requirements as well. Our English language requirements are generally 6.5 in an IELTS or in 6.0 in an, and 6.0 in each band. Um, but if you've taken international um, qualifications such as the IB or such as um, uh, GCSEs or O-level qualifications in English and you've scored quite well, we would usually wave off, we'd usually remove that English language condition. So a bit about our fees there. Um, for all our undergraduate programmes, we offer 25% scholarships for the first year, which is based on your predicted grades if you're looking to study this year or next year. And if you're playing at a high level in, in sports, we have sporting scholarships for up to £5,000 per year. For most of you who are perhaps looking to study postgraduate programmes, our requirements generally would be a, a GPA of 3.0 for most Thai universities for most of our programmes. Uh, some of them are a little bit more flexible and ask for 2.8 or 2.9. Um, however, if you are getting even higher than that, so let's say 3.5 GPA, we would offer 20% scholarships, which are automatically assessed when you get the results. So there's no application, there's no limit to these scholarships. They're automatically given based on your GPA. So if your GPA is around about 3.0, you can expect a 10% scholarship. And if it's 3.5, you, you would expect a 20% scholarship as well. This year, we understand, I think in, in Bangkok, the IELTS centers are open now, but we have a number of additional programs that you can choose uh, instead of IELTS. So for example, we accept the Duolingo, uh, we accept um, Password, which is our own free English language test, which we can give you more information about. And that marks the same as an IELTS test. Um, but we know a lot of students would prefer to take the, the IELTS test. 
We have a number of pre-sessional English courses available for those of you who um, perhaps have not got 6.5, but you've got perhaps 6.5 or, or 5.5. But a lot of those courses are approaching very soon. And those pre-sessional English courses uh, will be online um, this year. So it will be an online provision for for the um, pre-session of English programs. And then if you are interested in um, studying a master's course with us this year, a postgraduate course, um, you are required to pay a deposit of, of £2,500 before we can issue the, the CAS, which is needed for the visa. But that will be uh, asked of you a little bit later on. You don't obviously have to pay that deposit right away. So I'm going to finish with a little bit more information on how COVID is affecting uh, the UK and particularly um, how this may affect you and your um, potential study options this year. So if you are an undergraduate student, uh, we are fully intending to welcome you to campus in September and your face-to-face -face teaching will continue just as it would in any other situation. We have to obviously abide by social distancing, however, so it may well be that some lectures, not all, but lectures which would be commonly for 400 students at a time, may not be able to take place in its normal format. So that means we'll have to reduce the number of students attending a lecture. It may also mean that some lectures are done online um, and it will be recorded. Sometimes they'll be done live. So that would be sometimes that you would attend that lecture via your library or you attend that lecture via your classroom, uh, sorry, your, your personal room on campus. Um, for postgraduates, we also have the same option of starting online, but for, for your programs, um, for postgraduate students, there is an online delivery option, which is available to students who are looking to start this year, but perhaps because of um, their personal situation, uh, and they're waiting for some final results or so they have some delays with the visa, they can actually start the course online, okay, for a couple of days or a couple of weeks or a couple of months potentially, and then they would join the university at a later date. So we're not intending for the courses to run fully online. We don't think that will be a good experience for you. What we want to do is give you the option of starting online until, until it's safe and uh, applicable for you to travel to the UK. If there are any possible delays in Thailand or, or from the UK's perspective, then you would then join the university later on. Okay. If um, you are belonging to a course that has dual delivery, um, that means that some of our courses are available in January as well. So for some of our business programs, for digital marketing, for example, um, they have the option of starting in January as well. So that means you would start semester one in January or sometimes semester two in January. Um, but that would give you a little bit more time before you would need to start the program. So again, by that point, we fully expect COVID to not be a, as big an issue as it is at the moment. Um, COVID has hit the UK quite badly, um, I think because it's a, a very multicultural uh, and very welcoming country. We have a, we have a number of um, different uh, students from different backgrounds and, and uh, um, Indian, uh, sorry, uh, British nationals who have been affected in different ways by COVID. But we're pleased to confirm that um, the, the lockdown is easing on, on a, a weekly basis and the UK is it is really settling down now. So the death toll is, is into the very low numbers per day now. And we fully expect that come September, things will, will remain calm and we'll be able to provide a very good student experience for you. If you have applied for this year, or perhaps you're not interested in this year, you're looking for next year, we believe that the online, uh, sorry, the face-to-face -face delivery will, will be in place for next year. We shouldn't have any options, uh, any concerns for, for online delivery next year. However, if things change in September or in January and it means we can't offer an intake, of course, we're not going to put your, your lives at risk. We, we will not jeopardize the student experience. We will not, safety will always remain the priority. But as things stand, because the, because the situation is improving, we fully intend to run the campus uh, online. So what to do now? So if you have applied already, if you are thinking of applying for both undergraduate and postgraduate programs, there is availability. So you can still apply and the vast majority of courses are still considering applications. Then from next month, we are expecting the visa offices across Thailand for the UK to open if they haven't done already. And the cast that we will send you will be uh, given at a similar time. 
Now, we know now that most students at universities in the next few weeks or the next few months, if not already, you'll be receiving your results and your certificates, which is great. Um, the format and results um, entry criteria will be flexible this year. So, for example, if it's very difficult for you to get your degree certificates, we will talk to you about what other measures we can get, potentially a letter from the university explaining the situation and confirming your GPA. However, most students with, we find from Thailand around about now are starting to get clarification on their results and, and that's not a big problem. And for a number of you, you may already have your results from last year or, or from earlier this year, which is great. The, the, only, the only other thing to, to mention is that as things stand, um, there, may, there may be a possible two week isolation uh, period when you, when you first arrive in the UK. And if that happens, uh, that will be on campus in, in our halls of residence. So at the moment, we're just ironing out plans for when that will be, whether that will be um, on the 28th of September when you are expected to arrive or whether it will be two weeks before that or if we can start the course a bit later due to isolation, we're not sure. Personally, and colleagues across the university uh, do agree with me, um, it's at this stage quite early to be confirming plans for isolation. Um, there is a lot of feeling that come September, isolation will not be a measure um, in place in the UK. However, if it is in place, we have to obviously abide by it and we have to keep you safe. So, so that's just something to mention. And in terms of social distancing and hand washing and ensuring activities can still go on campus, we are fully committed to this, particularly at a university that's famous for student experience. We would just have to make sure that um, some of the participants in sports and some of the participants in a lot of our activities are limited to keep it safe and social distancing if, again, that, that is in place next year. So I know that's quite a lot of talking from my point of view, and I'm sorry if I've been talking quite quickly. Um, I just wanted to give you a bit of a summary to Loughborough University, but also an update as to what the situation's like currently um, for, for students thinking of coming to, to the UK this year. Um, at this point, I'd welcome any questions that we have. I know we've had a number of them in the chat, which is fantastic. Um, but uh, I'd welcome um, any um, any um, questions from, from anybody who, who is interested in studying. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Law, for your presentation. You're most welcome. Okay. okay. Uh, so first I will get a brief summary for in Thai first, and then we'll get into the questions at the end of the Perfect. session. Okay. Thank if you anyone much. has any questions or concern regarding the Rafra University, please do drop the message or questions in the chat box. โอเคอ่าน้องๆคนไหนมีคําถามระหว่างนี้นะครับก็คือสามารถตอบคําถามมาได้เลยพิมพ์มาได้เลยนะครับหรือว่าจะเปิดจะเปิดไมค์ก็
จะมี AACSB e q u i s และก็ AMBA นะคะถ้าน้องๆคนไหนแบบว่างงว่ามันคืออะไรคือจริงๆเรา Accreditation ตัวนี้3ตัว Triple c a r ะก็คือไม่ได้ไม่ได้ได้ทุกมหาวิทยาลัยในโลกนะครับก็คือจะเป็นบางมหาวิทยาลัยที่ได้เนาะเป็น3เขาเรียกเป็น3คราวอ่ะถ้าดังๆมหาวิทยาลัยดังๆที่ทุกคนน่าจะรู้ก็คือจะเป็น Oxford Cambridge LSE อะไรพวกนี้ก็คือจะได้กันเป็น business school ที่ดังมันสามารถใช้ยังไงได้บ้างก็คืออ่าตัวพวกนี้ก็คือถ้าน้องไป apply งานงานแบบ international ต่างชาติ company นิดนึงอะไรอย่างเงี้ยเขาก็จะดูตรงนี้เป็นหลักพอสมควรเลยอีกคณะหนึ่งที่ลัฟล่าค่อนข้างดังเลยนะครับก็คือจะเป็น Art and Design ปีที่เราก็คือจะมีเด็กของพี่นั่นแหละไปเรียนก็คือเป็นด้านของ Graphic Design and Visualization ดังมากๆเลยดังพอๆกับแบบหลายๆ UAL อะไรเงี้ยได้เลยในลอนดอนอีกอันนึงนะครับก็คือเป็น Sport s p o r t ด้านของกีฬาเลยลาฟราก็คือจะแจกทุนค่อนข้างเยอะกับนักเรียนที่แบบว่าสนใจทางด้านสปอร์ตค่อนข้างเยอะนะครับเป็นทุนนักกีฬาค่อนข้างเยอะเพราะฉะนั้นแล้วว่าถ้านักเรียนคนไหนแบบสนใจด้านกีฬาก็คือมหาวิทยาลัยนี้ตอบโจทย์มากเพราะว่าเป็นที่หนึ่งของโลกเลยถ้าน้องสามไปสามารถเช็คดูได้เลยอันนี้ก็คือเป็นที่หนึ่งจริงๆเพราะสปอร์ตฟาซิลิตี้ของเขาค่อนข้างดีเลยและยิ่งในตัวของลาฟราลอนดอนนะครับก็คือโลเคชันของเขาอ่ะเนื่องจากของเขาอ่ะค่อนข้างดังแล้วสปอร์ตเนาะโลเคชันของเขาอ่ะก็คือจะติดกับแบบโอลิมปิกพาร์คก็คือเป็นควีนอลิซาเบธอลิซาเบธโอลิมปิกพาร์คเลยอ่าโอเคอ่าถ้าอ่อนพูดมาถึงของของทุนการศึกษาละกันนะคะก็คือลาฟราจะมีทุนให้สำหรับนักเรียนปริญญาโทเนาะก็คือจะมี 10% แล้วก็ 20% สำหรับ 10% อันนี้ก็คือน้องอ่ะจะต้องได้ GPA ระหว่าง 3.0 ขึ้นไปถ้าจะได้ 20% ก็คือ 3.5 อันนี้คือเป็นออโตเมติกเลยไม่ต้องสอบไม่ต้องเขียนเอเซอะไรทั้งสิ้นเขาก็พิจารณาจากเกรดเฉลี่ยของเรานะครับ uh, entry requirement ของลาฟราโดยปกติแล้วเขาจะ require อยู่ที่เกรดประมาณ 2.8 นะครับ 2.8 GPA เนาะแล้วก็ IELTS require อยู่ที่ 6.5 แต่ละพาไม่ต่ำกว่า 6.0 ถ้าน้องๆถามว่าแบบเอ้ยพี่หนูสอบได้ IELTS แบบเอ่อหกจุดศูนย์สามารถไปเรียนได้ไหมสามารถไปเรียนได้นะครับก็คือจะเป็น take professional course ก่อนก็คือประมาณหกวีคเท่านั้นเองอืมไปเรียนก่อนก็คือถ้าสมมติน้องๆแบบเปิดเทอมมาปกติมันจะเปิดเทอมเดือนเซ็ตเทมเบอร์เนาะถ้าน้องๆแบบได้เอลส์ไม่ถึงอะไรเงี้ยอาจจะต้องบินไปเรียนก่อนประมาณเดือนสักเดือนจุลายไปปลายจุลายแล้วก็เข้าคอร์สหลักตอนตอนเซ็ตเทมเบอร์เหมือนกันอืมใช่ค่าเรียนของที่นี่นะครับตกอยู่ที่ประมาณหมื่นแปดหมื่นแปดพันปอนอ่หรือว่าประมาณเจ็ดแสนกว่าใช่เอ,อ,อีกอย่างหนึ่งที่พี่ลืมอัปเดตนิดนึงนะครับก็คือจะเป็นคอร์สหลักๆเลยนะครับก็คือคอร์สของเขาว่าตอนนี้ที่เด่นดังอย่างที่พี่พูดไปก็คือจะเป็นพวกแบบ business no innovation entrepreneurship แล้วก็ art and design แล้วก็อีกอย่างหนึ่งก็คือ sport แล้วตอนนี้คือเขาอ่ะมีคอร์สใหม่มาสำหรับปีนี้เลยนะครับก็คือจะเป็นคอร์สที่ชื่อว่า Logistic and Supply Chain ก็คือเป็นนิวคอร์สสำหรับลาฟราเลยอ่าเพิ่งเปิดเลยสำหรับปีนี้ก็คือขนาดนี้ค่อนข้างดังมากๆในอังกฤษส่วนมากน้องๆที่แบบว่าจบจากประเทศไทยนะครับด้าน Economics ด้านแบบ Engineering อะไรเงี้ยส่วนมากจะไปเรียนด้าน Logistic and Supply Chain กันค่อนข้างเยอะอืมแล้วมหาลัยเนี้ยก็คือค่อนข้างท็อปแรงเหมือนกันเพราะฉะนั้นแล้วอ่ะเออเพราะฉะนั้นเราก็คือสามารถสู้สู้หลายๆที่ได้เลยเนาะขนาดนี้อ,อีกคณะหนึ่งนะคะพี่ขอย้ำนิดนึงก็คือจะเป็นด้าน MBA เพราะว่านักเรียนไทยค่อนข้างสนใจด้าน business ค่อนข้างเยอะ MBA ก็คือเป็นอีกตัวเรื่องหนึ่งสำหรับนักเรียนที่แบบว่ามีประสบการณ์การทำงานแล้วที่นี่ require ประสบการณ์ทำงานประมาณ3ปีขึ้นไปนะคะแล้วก็จะมี option ให้เลือกด้วยว่าจะทำ internship หรือไม่ทำ internship ก็ได้โอเคอ่าระหว่างนี้มีใครมีคำถามเพิ่มเติมไหมครับพิมพ์มาได้เลยนะพิมพ์มาเลยโอเคโอเครอบใช่ can you hear me sure <laughs> okay I I can see some questions in the chat box okay let me get for to the first question uh Oh, at Lafra University, do you have like Thai community? We do, yeah. So um, this year we, so in 2019, we welcomed 50 students to campus. Um, most of them, well, we have we have around about 50 at the Lafra campus and around mm -hmm. about uh, 15 to 20 at the the London campus. So we do, and we do a lot of different activities. So we have a Thai student society. 
Um, so they welcome students onto campus. They do lots of different events. So lots of spiritual events, religious events, and just fun events in general. They do a lot of volunteering options. Um, and as I say, there is a Thai um, restaurant in the community um, of Loughborough as well. Um, so I think I wouldn't say that it, you would be going to a university where everybody in your class is from Thailand, um, mm -hmm. but equally there will be a good number of students from Thailand for you to make friends as well. Mm -hmm. We have a number of PhD students uh, who are studying from Thailand, and that's quite nice. Um, so they can obviously act as mentors for you and give you advice and give you guidance throughout the time because they're usually there for two, or, three or four years. Mm -hmm. So that's quite a nice community for our Thai students. All right. All right. Okay. Many students may wonder how many Thai students uh, for the last year, both Lafra campus and London campus. Yeah. So we had um, last year, we had around about 40 students to Loughborough and it was around about 15 students to London. But alongside that, we have returning students. We have PhD students. We have mm. undergraduates. So normally the community is around about 60 to 70 in total. Okay. All right. โอ้นักเรียนนักเรียนไทยค่อนข้างเยอะเพราะสมควรนะที่เขาบอกก็คือ question could you please advise on the student accommodation yeah so students um, who are studying at postgraduate level uh, oh, at the graduate right postgraduate yes so postgraduate students can live on campus. Uh, there are two, uh, there are three, sorry, halls in which you can study with us. Um, so you would need to apply online for the accommodation. But it, again, it's quite affordable because it's on campus and because it's, it makes it a little bit safer. Um, the accommodation choices will depend on what students are uh, preferring. So for example, if they want their own, um, if they want their own bathroom as well, so an ensuite like a hotel room, um, that is an option. I'm just posting the link there uh, in the chat box to the on-campus accommodation. If you're studying in London, there are three different London accommodation providers that we work with. Um, and again, information on that um, I, can, I can provide for you. Um, the most common choice in London is the Stratford one, which is very close to our um, campus as well. So that becomes quite um, a popular option. So again, um, depending on what your, your preference is, um, we have accommodation on campus. Some students would prefer to live off campus. For example, if you're bringing family members with you, um, that, that would be um, an option. And we have other private options for you as well. But most students from Thailand tend to live on campus. Okay. So the two links there are for Loughborough and then for London. โอเคอันนี้รอบพอทิ้งลิงก์ของอะคอมมอเดชั่นไว้ให้นะครับก็คือเป็นทางออนแคมปัสแล้วก็ออฟแคมปัสเลยก็คือจริงๆแล้วว
would the scholarship will be transferred to the next year as well? So if a student is applying for a course in September this year uh -huh. and they are looking to now come in January, if that is an option, the scholarship will automatically continue over. Okay. Uh, and if any deposit has been paid as well, that will automatically carry over to, to next year. Hmm. For students who are wanting to defer to September next year, if they don't have an intake in January available to them and they're coming in September next year, they are probably advised not to pay a deposit because it's, it's more difficult for us to refund that deposit. Um, although we can on a, on a case by case basis. And if you're offered a scholarship for this year and you're looking to study next year, it may not automatically carry over, but we will assess students again next year. So the qualification um, needed for a scholarship may change, but every year we do an assessment. So oh. if it stays, I don't personally think that the, the GPA requirements will change for a scholarship next year. So it's very likely the scholarship will continue, but it's not guaranteed. Okay. Um, it will depend on which scholarships are offered next year as well. อืมโอเคถ้าตอบคําถามเจ้าน้องบลัสซัมนะครับก็คือถามถ้าสมมุติว่าถ้าเกิดได้ทุนปีนี้แล้วสามารถเลือกขอเป็นปีหน้าได้
pre-session English as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. For the TPA, uh, for the TPA below three point zero, but but if the student has like uh, three years of work experience, will you consider that? We we will consider <laughs> students uh, for admission purposes if they have below three point zero, okay. um, and or, or say two point eight. Uh, and they have work experience, but usually the scholarship we we would always consider students, but usually scholarships are only given so based on academic GPA. merit. Oh, so GPA. it's it's normally GPA related rather than work experience. But we will we will consider all students on a case by case basis. So you could always write to me or ask your counsellor to get in touch with me, and we uh -huh. can review your case individually. Ah, uh, okay, all right. GPA 2.92 เค้าสองจุดเก้าสองอ่ะเค้าก็คือสามารถสั่งทีเดอร์ในเรื่องของแอดมิชชั่นได้ก็คือสามารถแบบเข้าได้เนาะถ้ามีประสบการณ์ท
โอเคมีคําถามอะไรเพิ่มเติมอีกไหมเอ่ยใครมีคําถามเพิ่มเติมไหมครับอืมน้องๆคนไหนมีคําถามเพิ่มเติมแบบพิมพ์มาได้เลยนะตอนนี้ยังยังทันนะเอ่อนอชิรยามีเรียนภาษาสามเดือนไหมคะหรือว่ามีแต่เรียนต่อ,อปอโทของของไอเอเซียบอร์ดก็คือมีหมดเลยนะกบวงจรมากๆก็คือจะมีเรียนภาษาอันนี้น้องอยากไปเรียนที่ประเทศไหนครับภาษาอยากไปเรียนประเทศไหนเอ่ยอันนี้คือไปเรียนภาษาอังกฤษเฉยๆเนาะไม่ได้เกี่ยวกับปริญญาโทใช่ไหมครับโอเค Any more question พิมพ์มาได้เลยนะถ้ามีคำถามอะไรพิมพ์มาได้เลยเนาะแล้วก็หรือว่าอยากถามหลังไมค์ก็ได้นะครับเดี๋ยวพี่ให้คอนแทคอ่ะอัปเดตนิดนึงนะครับของตอนนี้ถ้าน้องๆแบบคนไหนแบบสนใจไปเรียนต่อปริญญาโทนะครับแล้วไปกับ IEC abroad เนาะก็คือเดี๋ยวพี่ๆอาจจะดูแลแล้วก็เป็นบริการที่ฟรีไม่มีค่าใช้จ่ายนะครับแล้วก็ยังสําหรับสําหรับน้องๆที่ไปกับไอเซียบอร์ดเนาะพี่ก็คือจะแถมไอเอลใช้ฟรีหนึ่งครั้งเลยมูลค่าหกพันเก้าร้อยบาทก็คือน้องไปสอบไอเอลมาแล้วเอาใบเสร็จมาเดี๋ยวพี่จะทําเรื่องเคลมให้นะครับตอนนี้ไอเอลก็คือเปิดศูนย์สอบทุกที่เรานะก็คือสามารถไปสอบได้เลยเราก็เหมือนจะมีโปรโมชั่นลดราคาอยู่ด้วยตอนนี้ราคาไม่ค่อยแพงมากอืมถ้าไปกับไอเซียก็คือได้ฟรีไปโอเคอ๋อโอเค one more question ตอนนี้หนูทางดีไซน์ตอนนี้หนูเรียนทางดีไซน์ละเรียน MBA ที่ไทยคือเรียนควบค่ะแล้วหนูอยากไปเรียนต่ออินโนอ๋อ,อ,โ,อโอเค the student uh, she's now uh, she's currently studying design and MBA in Thailand for master and she would like okay. to do another master degree in innovation so yeah Yeah, she can, right? Yeah. So if you've done, um, the the only complication is that if if a student has done a master's or their MBA in the UK, mm-hmm. and then they want to do a similar master's degree in the UK as well, that is quite tricky. But for students who have done their master's degree in Thailand, they can take another master's degree in the UK. That's that's not a, a problem. In different in, in, field. Yeah, in a different field like innovation or um, or, or entrepreneurship would, would be would be most welcome. Mm-hmm. Yes, I think as long as when it comes to the personal statements, the student ah, is okay. telling telling us why they want to do this course and they qualify for the course, then yes, that will be fine. Ah, okay. น้องเอ่ยครับก็คือน้องสามารถเรียนได้นะครับก็คือเดี๋ยวพี่จะช่วยดู personal statement ให้ก็คือเวลาน้องจะไปเรียนต่อปริญญาโทอ่ะก็คือน้องจะต้องสมมติเขาเรียกว่าเป็น personal statement เนาะหรือว่าเรียงความความประสงค์ที่จะเรียนต่ออ่ะอันนี้ก็คือเดี๋ยวจะต้องเขียนแบบบรรยายเลยว่าทําไมน้องถึงอยากเรียนขนาดนี้ทั้งที่เรียน MBA มาแล้วเออเดี๋ยวพี่ช่วยดูให้อีกทีหนึ่งโอเคน้องอาชีรยาเดี๋ยวอันนี้น้องเดี๋ยวพี่คอนแทคไปอีกทีได้ไหมครับเพราะว่าเดี๋ยวมีคอร์สเสนอทางอังกฤษนิวซีแลนด์แล้วก็ออสเตรเลียเลยทําทุกที่เลยอยากไปเรียนส,สามเดือนเนาะโอเคเป็นเรียนคอร์ภาษาครับเดี๋ยวพี่เสนอโรงเรียนไปให้ตอนนี้มีโปรโมชั่นอยู่ด้วยไม่ค่อยแพงเราค่างเงินค่อนข้างลงมากมากเลยโอเคแต่มีประสบการณ์การทำงานดีไซน์หนึ่งปีโอเคสามารถไปเรียนได้เลยนะครับ innovation เนาะ uh, Rob could you please elaborate more on the module of innovation and entrepreneurship course yeah of course so the the program we have it in the field of entrepreneurship and and innovation is designed for those students who are thinking of uh, Thinking of a new service or a new product or a new idea, something that's innovative, something that hasn't been done before, um, something that's kind of entrepreneurial. So it may be that you're looking to require some funding to run a company. We will tell you how to find the funding. We have modules in understanding business failure, so understanding why at the first attempt a lot of business startups don't succeed. Um, then we have uh, modules on family businesses, as we've said, um, and we have. Uh, an industry project as well, so you can find out more about what you'd uh, about working with industry and working with uh, successful entrepreneurs, um, and they can give you advice on on how to go about it. Um, so what we can do is I can send you the link through the 
um, the chat box to the entrepreneurship and innovation degree. If you then scroll down and click on um, the what you'll study element, it will give you all of the modules and it will also tell you um, what you'll be studying in each module. So for example, there's innovation management module, there's an entrepreneurship module, there's a funding module, there's um, str strategy and marketing analysis. Then those are all the, com the, the compulsory components. Then you would select one um, optional module, which can be in family businesses, which is, can be in intellectual property, which can be in uh, new venture creation or managerial economics. So there's a whole range of courses that you could um, that you can get involved in as well. So the best thing for you to do is if I share this link with you, you mm -hmm. can have a look at the what you'll study section, and that will give you a little bit more information about the about the program. And then if you have further questions in the contact us section, you can actually go through to speak to somebody from the institute, and they will give you some feedback on. On the programs as well this course along with digital marketing are the po most popular programs for thai students in london อืมโอเคอ๋อน้องเอิร์นเดี๋ยวอันนี้อันนี้รอเขาส่งลิงก์ให้เรานะครับอันนี้สามารถเข้าไปดูโมดูลได้เดี๋ยวพี่อธิบ
เนาะหรือว่าติดต่อพี่ๆที่เคยติดต่อน้องไปแล้วนะครับก็คือสามารถทักเข้ามาอะไรเงี้ยพูดคุยกันได้เลยนะครับขอบคุณมากนะครับสำหรับวันนี้ที่มาจอยกันขอบคุณค่ะบ๊ายบาย